Hello, welcome to CBS Passion. Today we are going to see what uh, VS 2017 start page has to offer for a developer. So I have just installed VS 2017 and this is our start page. The first thing you may be already noticed is the change in layout. VS 2017 has brand new layout when it compared to VS 2015. You can see that here and uh, when you see here uh, a new collapsed column have been introduced in VS 2017. Here it is developer news. What it contains is the cool new articles related to the product or any updates is released by Microsoft. This is the place we need to check. As you can see uh, a small round button is here now. It contains uh, it says uh, the feed has updated with the new content since the last time developer news was collapsed. So it means there are some updates that you may need to check with. So let's just open it. So these are all the updates we have just released. We can always go through this article and all. But when you see the start page, uh, developer news, this column has occupied most of the space from the, of this chart page, right? So that's why Microsoft have changed it to a collapsed column since if it is collapsed, we have much space in the start page. So you can always close this get started. So now we have four section recent open new project and in a recent uh, uh, like uh, today, yesterday, last week and this month. So basically it's three column. So I will just start with a new project search project templates. This is the this is where we are getting started with. So here what exactly you can do is you can search for a project templates or if even you can search for the uh, project language what which in which language you are going to build your project. So let's say if I'm going to build a project with a C sharp. I can always start with the C sharp which which is actually filtered you by this language and another thing is you can go into more deeply what kind of project you are going to create uh, let's say sp.net web application so here you can see all the web application related to the C sharp language Now I have installed, uh, basically I have installed uh, web application related stuff and Windows application related stuff but this is uh, this search box is applicable for only the installation you have already done to VS 2070. That means I didn't install Xamarin in my machine. So if I search for Xamarin, nothing shows up. So this means uh, since I haven't installed Xamarin, uh, VS 2017 will not be applicable, will not be able to find out the related stuff of Xamarin. So even uh, though uh, if I have, uh, if I'm going to install the Xamarin and again I'm coming back to the start page and search for Xamarin keyword, it will definitely show up. You can give a try with that. If you haven't, uh, find what you are going to, what project uh, you are going to use or create. You can still go with the more template project templates option that will show up the old fashioned window like this. So we can always select the templates which you may need to create. Uh, this is where you need to check those things exactly. As of now, I'm just going to click cancel. So this is all over the new project section. Now uh, it now we have an open section here it actually uh, it has two categories one is from checkout from and one is from the local fault for project or website so I'll just I will just say uh, all over the checkout option so this is actually for the remote computer you are going to work with I mean, uh, if, if you are a developer and if you are connected to your one of your office account, so uh, even if you are if you are uh, connecting a Visual Studio from any other uh, device, 
so those uh, remote uh, projects will be carried to you if you are uh, connecting through this option visual studio team service or you can always uh, select uh, the projects from the github too so if you click the visual studio team service it will just show you a pop-up word you need to connect to your office account at your server and all if you just do that your all of your project related stuff will load here and you can search for that and you can select and you can configure you can just click connect and that's all boom you will be able to load your project and you'll be able to work soon so these all features uh, will make visual studio uh, common for uh, if you log into visual studio you will feel that it's uh, your uh, shops are already there even if you are using uh, two or three devices or many numbers so uh, now next one is open project and solution that is working as expected uh, as it is working in a lower version like uh, vs 2017 2013 and all and maybe you have already noticed like open folder this may be new to you uh, this open folder is literally a folder of code this code uh, we can uh, maybe you you have downloaded from the internet and you can always open that folder which contains uh, so many codes or the code files you can always uh, open the, those folder and you can see what are all the files that particular folder has and you can uh, see the language coloring and all the good thing is in which vs 27 supported more than 30 plus languages so that you can always uh, uh, open the codes of python here in this way of open folder so this will help for many many ui developer or many developer you can always use vs 2017 for almost all the languages open website is as you know it's nothing actually it's it will just open your website which has already there in your machine and reason option uh, this section will be will shows the application or the uh, project templates you have already used recently as you can see uh, today i have used one wpf app solution and yesterday it was vs2017 features and last week it shows uh, vs2017.sln and all and so on so this is the place uh, which shows the recent projects which you have already opened or used This is all about the start page. Uh, I strongly uh, wish, uh, recommend you to try VS 27. It's a much better tool than any VS 2017 version, VS Visual Studio version. Sorry. Thank you so much for watch, watching. Please do subscribe if it is possible.